Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Yes, today we're looking at the Kitkazi. Yeah, the destroyer that is so large it won't even fit in the port screen. Um, <coughs> this thing is comical, it really is. Um, it's got some pew pew guns, so if you played the Akizuki, um, then this is kind of more of the same really. It's a bit bigger. And, uh, yeah, it's not quite as nimble. If we have a quick look at the figures here. Uh, where's the Aki? Aki, wacky, wacky, where are you? There you are. So, manoeuvrability-wise, 33 knots, 730 metres, 4.5 seconds. 36 knots, 730 and 5.2. Yeah. That wouldn't be quite so troubling, except we've already got the rudder shift module on there. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Akizuki. Uh, but bigger and sluggish in the turns. Um, she isn't a bad boat, though, to be fair to her. She really isn't a bad boat. Uh, she does have the torpedo reload booster on there, um, as well as your normal sort of destroyer speed boost, smoke, and uh, damage con. So, yeah, she she she's a bit of an oddball. She's more like a cruiser, really, with tiny guns, um, which kind of makes her a little bit strange to play. Now, at the moment, she is stock. Uh, so we could upgrade her to 20,700 hit points, um, which would be lovely, but we've only got 16,200 here at the moment. And the torpedoes. Yeah, we've got the 10k torpedoes, which uh, aren't bad. You could upgrade them to the 12k. And if you're yeah, a bit more YOLO, then you could go for the 8k. They do give you uh, slightly better damage and they are a little bit quicker on the reload. But um, yeah, I would personally probably go 12k. Um, just to keep you outside of that sort of radar ellipse. And uh, yeah, you could extend the firing range to 12.5 kilometers. That said, let's have a look at the numbers, shall we? So current range is 11.3. Uh, we can look at the guns now, which aren't all that impressive. 1700 max AP and 1200 max HE. Your fire chance is only 4%. Hmm. Not all that great. Not all that great. Uh, you can, with your HE shells, so pierce 32mm armor so if you're going for lower tier cruisers maybe go for the bow or the stern uh, if you're going for anything else superstructure apart from destroyers because your destroyers you can use your AP on um, which is interesting it is interesting if you look at the armor layout on this thing it's not a lot 19 mil really isn't all that much so if you're using your HE and you've got IFHE that will up your penetrative value to 25 mil so that could be pretty good on there um, at the moment it's not that high so yeah you do have to think about what you're using uh, your reload on this by the way is 2.6 seconds with the module hmm very quick so if you put adrenaline rush on there and you um yeah take a little bit of damage this thing just spits bullets out at a rate of knots so yeah torpedoes one by six launcher um you do have the torpedo reload booster on there but it's a hundred and sixty seven second reload yeah two minutes and forty seven seconds that's a long time. It really is. Um, 67 knot speed on them is pretty good, though. Now then, we get into the uh, the weird 
thing of AI, yes, AI, um, there's some numbers. Yeah, these really don't mean a great deal to me anymore. Um, so, hmm, yeah. Maneuverability we've already looked at there and concealment. Now, concealment with the module and with the skill, 6.6 kilometers, which isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. It's not as good as maybe it could be, some of the others, but 6.6 .6 is okay. Uh, 3.2 by air, 2 kilometers proximity spot, and 2.4 if you fire your guns from smoke. So, let's do what we do. Let's uh, take her into a battle. Uh, got some economy flags on there, that's all. And uh, it's New Year's streamer, I think, the camo. So, yeah, a little bit of extra XP, but uh, I think that's all it gives you. So, let's hit the battle button. Let's go. Take her into a co-op. Yes, a co-op, I know. Um, but it gives me a nice control environment to uh, test a ship out in. So, yeah, I quite like that. Also, there's no aircraft carriers, which is always good. You know, if you do see one, it will be on your team and not the enemy. So, yeah. Kind of keeps the game a bit playable if you don't want to sit around in the low tiers. Um, so there we go. Right, Republic, Yamato, Des Moines, Azel, Bolte, Edinburgh, Otago, and Kitakazi. Right. Let's take this little kitty out. Apparently, the enemy team... Um, interesting, they've got a Chung Mu. Hmm. Wonder why they've got a Kitakazi. Ooh. Anybody know? Let me know in the comments, because I don't know. I thought it was meant to mirror. Hmm. Unless you had a carrier. And if you had a carrier, then it would add an extra battleship. But, um, yeah, I'd be interested if anybody does know. I'd love to. Right. I've been playing Star Trek and uh, yeah, Q and E are throttle on Star Trek, so I need to uh, not press Q and E on here. I need to press W and S. Okay, right. Let's say thank you, and let's get it on. So the gun turret rotation isn't quite as crazy quick as maybe the Aki, but it's not bad. It isn't bad. It certainly keeps up with the turn of the ship, look. If we go into a hard turn here, see they all stay on target, so that's pretty good. Two minutes left on the reload on the torpedoes. I know, it's awful. It really is. It takes so long. Hmm. So we will we'll push... I don't want to push straight down the middle because that's just suicide um, but we will push up and uh, yeah, spot maybe we should get some uh, spotting done for the old team let's bring her across this way okay there's the Yamato Should mean we'll see another boat coming up the middle here soon. There he is, the Otago. Now the Otago is in firing range. Oh, there's the Chung Mu. The Chung Mu is in firing range. Hello, little Chung Mu. Let's see if we can play with your day, shall we? Now, I've got AP loaded. And I need to get HE loaded. There he is. And we should be able to take this guy down. I mean, you can see the firing rate on these guns is really something else. It's pretty spectacular. And I think we've got a fire on him as well, because, yeah... We'll get rid of this guy. He's just within viewing range now, but that should 
finish him off. There we go. Right. One down. Okay. Otago is probably going to be our next target. I need to uh, start getting the old boat moving. Because I don't want to be sideways on the Otago, really. That would probably be a bad thing. So I'm going to launch them. I'm going to use the reload booster. And hopefully... Look at that. Crafty bugger straight down the middle of all of them. Hopefully I can get this round before... There we go. That should finish him off. He should no longer be an issue. Now we do still have that uh, Yamato over there. The old Yammy Yammy. So we will see if we can get a fire on the Yamato. Now the Yamato's guns are really slow to turn so we should get plenty of warning. We should do okay here. Let's hope for a fire because that would be really nice. Um, do you know what? I'm going to hit my speed boost. I know I've still got uh, an age left on the reload on those torpedoes, but let's see if we can get this island between us. Yeah, that's fine. I'll get that repair going there. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to use some island armor here. Uh, we've still got 90 seconds to go on those torps. This is what you end up waiting for all the time, is bloody torpedoes on this boat. You could really do with them to load up a bit quicker. Now, Mr. Yammy should have turned his guns to someone else by now. Yes. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try my AP into his superstructure. If I... Uh, well, if I get a chance. No, he's gone down. But, uh, yeah, the guns are okay. Um, you've just got that tiny little fire chance, which really doesn't help you much. But uh, I suppose you could always put flags on, get it up another percent or so. Okay, so 53,081 damage, 175 shell hits. Yeah, 175 shell hits. This thing is crazy at the rate of fire you get. Uh, two torpedo hits. Obviously, we actually hit more, but uh, we'd sunk in by then. Three planes shot down, three incapacitations, two boats destroyed, one fire, one flood. Three defend ribbons for spotting, 133,484 credits, 2,313 XP, 583 XP. Let's have a look at the team score. Ah, nice, up the top. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but um, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, detail report, the numbers for those that like them. Uh, yeah, what did we get potential damage was? Wasn't too bad, actually, 161,500. And what was the take home? The take home, this is where it starts getting ouchy. Is uh, yeah, if you're gonna play co op with anything above tier sort of six or seven, you're gonna start to take a hit on the credits. 50,838 take home and 3902 on the commander XP. So, this is like my fourth or fifth game in this ship, I think. Um, I haven't had that many, and I'm still trying to get to terms with her, get to grips with her. Um, you, you kind of play this thing a little bit cautiously. You do need to be a little bit cautious. You haven't got the speed to be a YOLO boat. Um, if you're going up against something like uh, a Yami or a, you know, a battleship of uh, FDG or something like that... Um, which has got slow turning guns, 
then uh, yeah, you could probably YOLO it if his guns are over the other side of the ship. You might have time to get round there. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's not it's not like the YOLO Yang. Um, this thing is far more far more reserved, I think, in the playstyle that you need for it. It's kind of let everyone else spot, and you just pepper them to death with uh, all your little fiery bullets. Mm. I call them bullets because they're only 100 mil. You know, these things are tiny um, in terms of ship guns. So, yeah, they're, they're more like bullets than shells. Mm. Anyway, have you got the kit, kit of Kazi? Uh, yeah, if you have, then um, let me know. You know. I got all excited when I saw this thing in the uh, the text because I thought it was going to be the kit of Kami. Uh, but it's not, it's the kit of Kazi. So... Oh, oh well, uh, 40 torpedo derps are oh, yeah, a thing of the past, I think. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts if you have it. Uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, then the old like button loves a tickle. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? And uh, yeah, I think that's more than enough from me for now. So thank you ever so much for watching, guys. But for now, it's Captain Random signing off. Take care, and I'll see you again in the next one.